Mm. Even fire. What's up? So originally this was titled Final, but then I realized that we still have to beat the optional content for this chapter. So it might not even be the last chapter. Who knows? Anyways, we're back in Gosnor, and the reason we are back in Gosnor is because that is where we will find the last Trilobite key. I didn't look this up. I know it because I am the smartest person in the entire world. So here, we find that nerd who we spared at the beginning of the game. It's Gope. Hey, I know you! You're the guys who didn't kill me back in the gem mine. Thanks for that. I am pretty grateful, you know. I really thought when I saw you that that was the end, but you gave me another chance. A chance to improve myself. And I'm going to take that chance and become a better person. No more banditry for me. Thing is, I'm not sure I know what else I'm good at. I'm sure I'll find out one day, though, and we'll meet again. Here, though, I'm so grateful for you sparing me that I want to repay you. So you can have this odd key thing that I found ages and ages ago. It's for a door, but I don't know which one. I thought it fit that door in the Trilobite Cave, but it didn't. Maybe you'll have more luck with it than me, though? And with that, we have the last key. Thanks again for sparing me, though. Guards, the world needs more good people like you, and I intend to become one of them myself. We'll meet again sometime, someplace, I swear it. I look forward to it. He's a good... He's a good... He's a bloke. With no characterization. Anyway, with that, we have all four keys, I think. Yes, we have all four of the Trilobite keys. This will allow us to fight the arena or something. I don't know. I don't think I've ever actually done this before. So, hey, it's the first time for me to. I swear that it was daytime when we first went through here. Cool. All right, a lot of games have included a string function that I know of, but this one just doesn't. From what I recall, this basically gives us Mardek's best sword in the game. Nothing. I mean, we're going to be using it a bit into the next chapter, but not much. Well, I say not much, but I do not remember anything about the next chapter, other than the core vague plot of it, so eh, who knows. And with that, we are now in new territory. As usual, we're going to be loading every single chest because I am a completionist. No, really, I promise, I swear, even though I forgot one of the companions for this game. Pay that no mind, please. Just pretend that I have diligently noticed everything that happens and have missed absolutely nothing. Is this even worth cat grabbing? Oh, even these fights are below us. Now yeah, we should probably do them anyway because we want to. Yeah, we need to grab the bestiary end phase. I want to finish that off for this game. I don't want to have anything left out. So let's see what we got. These are the same enemies. I swear we've already fought them. Well, whatever. Let's see if we one-shot now. Dear God, that was faster than I expected. So we didn't one-shot. Uh, I blame the game. I'm perfectly skilled. Nobody can blame me in that regard. We're not going to swap out their swords, even though we're fighting the undead. We're not fighting the undead right now, because... 
I do not want to. I have things and stuff to do. God damn, three damage, really? Have some mercy. Vern is still just disgustingly strong even at this point, because I don't know why. He's just broke. <laughs> even when you aren't fighting zombies. <sighs> Wait, no. Okay, the last person that we want to be giving Mugwood juice to is Mardik, because Mardik can heal. So we're going to want to spread that out around the rest of the team. Is that the door we came in from? That is the door we came in from. The next door is up there. You know what? We can skip all the fights in here, and they seem to be mostly jokes. So yeah, we're going to be skipping every fight and just grabbing every chest in the way. <laughs> The XP is... Ooh! A suit of medium armor made from trilobite scales? It absorbs water damage as HP and boosts the wearer's max HP too. Hug. Let's see who that's for. I'm... No, we'll definitely be able to have it in the next game. You learn resist water. That's nice, but... Eh. I guess that someone could put it on, but no, you can't equip that. Uh, Vern is our biggest DPS right now, so I'm guessing, yeah, let's put it on Vern. Who has still not learned to skill. God damn it, Vern. Thanks. Good work. Okay, uh, we're putting it on Deogun until Vern gets his shit together and learns some skills. Until he gets good. We might as well make... Oh okay, wait, Leon, it's not worth making the guy learn resist water. Vim is more useful. Or is it? For Deogun, yeah. Deogun is not... We're not gonna need Deogun's resist water. At least not anytime soon. Plus he's a sussy baka. He deserves to suffer and get wet. Just bring it to my boss And also a vitality quest. Wow, I walked right past that. I am very skilled. That means the last chest is probably in the top left corner, and it's almost definitely just going to be more stuff we don't really need. Oh well. Completionism demands that we have to see it through. That's useful. I remember Mardic 3 having a lot of the better healing items pretty much freely available. But I also remember that I cheated in that game. I was playing on like... Back in the good old days of Flash, they would take the whole Flash game. They would upload them on a website. And you would be able to just like... Go and play it there, holding. And yeah, I guess that's pretty much copyright infringement, isn't it? Stealing the game from the original creator. But fuck, it was so much fun. You had so much bullshit, so much cheating and stuff in there. It's easy peasy, infinite GP, you could buy as many healing potions as you like, anything. Of course, it's a complete violation of the real, of the way it's meant to be played. But, you know, sometimes you just want to break the game. Sometimes you just want to have fun. We have received a... Uh... Oh, that was a more normal breastplate. Ooh! That is spicy. Some blindness and curses, but resist dark. Okay. Yeah, I think we need this more right now. Learning damage soak is gonna help Mardek out just generally. 
You want to be yeah, sure. Keep your MP up and. Oh, okay. Damage numbers are pretty high right now, but I still think damage soak is the more economical choice. Or is it? It's been a while since. <clears throat> Our hits normally hit for about 100, but I think enemies are hitting around. I say that, but the only hits that really matter are going to be for our entire health bar. Because if they don't kill us in one turn, they're not going to kill us. It's tricky, very tricky. Maybe that's what they mean when they say RPGs have good gameplay. Like, when you're not actually playing the game, we're doing a lot of thinking about them. Also, since this is the last spiral, I think I should be always allowing a few fights to go through. Ooh, yep, we've already read this, so let's just try to trigger a fight, see what's over here, if there's anything that we missed. Nope, it's just bats. That's great, I'm really happy about that. Amazing. Weaknesses, air. Okay, die. Fuck, no! <laughs> Oh well. I guess we're doing it one by one. <coughs> that XP was... It existed. We definitely got some. Zero is not the amount of XP we received. Oh, that was not the last... Oh, it was. Welcome to the Trilobite Cave. I respect that they had a whole optional area. Weapon shop. It's a sign. Talking to it must be a rollicking laugh. It really is. The first Trilobite. Welcome to Cambria, the village of the Trilobites. It's my job to say that to all visitors, you know. My wife and children starve because I get paid so little, since we get so few visitors that I rarely get to perform my duty at all. And I get paid by the full hours of work I've done, too, even though the whole duty takes but a few seconds. Oh, whoa. Sounds like you need to unionize. This town has the best equipment in the region. Oh, yes, it does. Wield our weapons strongly and brag at all your many friends about how much better than them you are for owning such weapons. I plan on it. <coughs> Ooh, the Shadow Blade. That was something we could have missed. But what are its stats like? Degeneration. We can actually use that right now, can't we? Because, yeah, we, we're we gonna learn Quarry Dead for reasons later. But we don't need it right now. The Metro. Oh, that's actually lower level than what we have right now. That's a surprise. A double sword fashioned in the shape of trilobites for some reason. This would be so useful if we had a trilobite user in our team. A lightning one. Ooh. M plus stun? That's nice. Okay, so we have 15k. We can buy anything in the store. We're going to want... Do we have a Shadow Blade for Vern is the question. We do not. We need... Okay, so we need to buy one Shadow Blade. And a lightning rod. This will drop from the first fight. Just do one. And we will have wasted our GP. And I say that, but then again, we never use our GP for anything. So like, okay, I wasted money. Big fucking deal. Okay, anything else you want to grab from here? We have a silver sword already. We've grabbed all of these along the way. Shouldn't he have some? I think he did learn our slash actually. Okay, we're good. So you start learning degeneration. What does degeneration do? This reaction has a 10% chance of removing the regen status. Do any of the end? I don't think we've fought a single enemy so far who had the regen status, but hey, maybe we will. 
Nothing else we need here. Who else do we buy for? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, Amala, get rid of this useless garbage and get stunned. Poison does basically no goddamn damage. Actually, didn't that thing have two skills on it? M damage plus 10. You already have... You do not have that. Why do you not have that? That sounds like a base level ability. What? Okay. You learn degener. Why is it only a 10% chance though? Whatever. You have not mastered Corian Dead, but... Yeah, it'll do. I wonder... If... Can you cast... Of course you can cast her. Get out the way. Light elemental attack with it. It only makes sense. Hello, friend. <clears throat> Humans in our village? That is most strange. And so on and so forth. I've probably only ever read about you in books or something like that, maybe. Amazing. You don't even know what you've done. It's a sign. Well, I can laugh. What do you sell, my friend? A bunch of these. Ooh. Null Earth Ones. I wonder who that's for. Locomotion. What is that? Resist paralysis. That's a really useful. Paralysis feels like one of the most annoying statuses. Ooh, I didn't realize that they gave... Fuck. <laughs> oh no! That's a really important skill. Fucking hell. We're gonna need to learn that. Ugh. Okay. This teaches a shield, this teaches M shield. We cannot pull that off. You you uh cannot be pulled off for reasons. You are not actually learning this, so uh wait oh Amala's also not worth using it on. Okay, who do we want to put the body crystal on? Definitely... Vern? Yeah, Vern has learned damage minus 10. Oh, wait. Yep, Ring of Strength. Swap out the Ring of Strength for it. You get all the stats. And you get your HP minus 10. Plus 10. You know what I mean. Thing with Marduk is, do we ever have a chance to use shield? I guess it's a valid first turn move, and that... Yeah, let's use it. Let's keep using it. I think that shield might come in useful at some point, but, you know, hey. We'll never know. And then we get to an armor store. What do you have? Okay, what do you have? M damage minus 30, but you also up spirit and MP. Both of those are actually important. And you have mastered agility, so yeah, you should get that. You also have bandit leather, which is useful. You have hats. Only one of which is useful, and that one is one we should put on everyone because it's just. Yeah, these have hats have no skills, so these are just. Me damage on the people who can equip them. Marduk does not get to have an inventory. That is what I decree. This. Eh, why not? Emma's learned her skills, so might as well put it on. Do you know evasion? No. Do you know damage is 20? You've mastered this. Have you mastered this? You have not mastered this, but you also have not mastered Damage Soak. Damage Soak is more useful. I think that Agility and Evasion are more of vanity skills. I enjoy learning them. As much as you can enjoy learning anything in a Marduk game, but like... Uh, I don't think I'm gonna spend time writing them up. It 
If you aren't saving every two steps, you're risking losing progress. Atrilobite, I bet you slaughtered many of our kind on your way down here and thought nothing of it. <laughs> Have you considered not trying to kill me then? Get out of the get out of my Please, okay, whatever. Uh, first we can go shopping for potions. Do you have remedies? You do not have remedies. Yeah, I think we'll live without potions. If we get hit with a status effect, we will live with it. It's a person dwelling deep in this cave as we do. We have little or no knowledge of the happenings in the world outside. Frankly, we don't care what happens out there either. Fair. This cave is our world. Why should we be concerned about things that aren't ours? The ethereal crystal. The ethereal. Ethereal. The ether crystal is the heart of Belfin, a doorway through which souls can pass from the soul planes into living corporeal bodies in this world. Without the ethereal crystal, all life would be soulless and emotionless. One who has power over the ethereal crystal has power over the world itself, and it is for this reason that it is highly sought out by heroes and villains. However, its location is quite the mystery indeed. I wonder if we'll ever find it. I say that, but at this point I have generally forgotten which one of the Mito crystals we actually find. A person. Yes, do I know you barbaric mammalian beast from the surface? I didn't know I knew any barbaric mammalian beast from the surface. I must be going senile. How annoying. It really is annoying. You're here for the arena challenges, right? All the adventurers and wannabe heroes always come down here to fight monsters and each other's for kicks. Chicks and cash. No. Kicks, chicks, and cash. It's so barbaric. Also, I'll meet you in the arena and you're going down, punk! Hell yeah! Understandable. The Enticing Adventures of Egg-Faced Harold. This is some kind of fictional storybook, but you don't want to read it. Really, you don't. It's not as exciting as the title makes it sound, honestly. Aww. But I want to read it. I have to re-engage with bad content so I can react to it. We're actually insectoids, but we have the gift of sentience. It's neat and nifty. We can use it for baking things. Amazing. I used to bake cakes. I have forgotten the recipe completely. This place is a secret place. <clears throat> it has nothing to do with the plot. You should give yourself a hearty smack on the back for reaching here. Well done. I am very proud of myself. Thank you. That is probably the arena, so let's check out what's in here. <clears throat> Real Trilobites didn't have two arms and two legs and sentience, you know? I bet you didn't know that, you moron. Baka. Oh, Nietzsche. Get, get out of the fucking way. I won't. This one doesn't contain anything of any real interesting. Just a bunch of mathematical treatises. Children's nursery rhyme anthologies. Arthropod erotica. Ooh, I probably wrote some of that. And lengthy dictionaries. Nothing at all worth looking at. I wonder what's up there. Is it an exit? It had better not just, like, throw me out the other end. It does. Oh, you can fast travel back to Cambria, that's great. Okay, so we're not actually moving any progress. Hi, what's up? Yeah, this is the arena. That is. Talk to that other guard just there if you want some highly informative information. Yeah, this is the arena. Thank you. Let's go. You can fight monsters in this place for fabulous prizes, probably. The monsters are hard and numerous, however. And you have to beat all the rounds without healing between each one. Very tricky. <gasps> it's a bandit! We came here from the surface to kill some stuffs. It's gonna be fun. It really is. My boyfriend here is such a criminal. Such a bad boy. He treats me like dirt and I love it. That's how a real man should be. Top me, daddy. I wonder where they get the monsters from, and who are they, anyway? Who does the getting of the monsters? Adventurers or something? 
though there's only one tournament open at the moment, there will probably be others in later chapters. <gasps> I want to be a Trilobite when I grow up! Maybe... If I really feel like it, kiddo. Welcome to the arena. Here you can participate in tournaments where you battle hordes of monsters and maybe other adventurers in our special battle cave to win fabulous prizes. Are you interested? Can you explain things to me? Uh, there's not all that much to explain. You enter a tournament which has 20 rounds, each round you fight a group of monsters, win all 20 consecutive battles, and you get a prize. Lose and you die, and probably reincarnate as somebody else, maybe. Who knows? Okay, we save our game, and we say yes. Excellent, sir. I will fucking... Excellent. Without further ado, let the tournament begin. If you'll kindly proceed to the battle cave. Easy peasy, we're gonna stomp this. Oh, we don't get to talk to those two guards, I guess. Invisible announcer, begin round one. Thirty damage, okay. The fume rats are level 10, so they can probably actually damage us. We might want to do an AoE. But we don't want to use skills for anyone else, because... Obviously. Just smack this one down until he is gone. Easy peasy. They are gone. My bad. Round two. Oh, I hate these. Well, I say I yeah, I do hate these because they always get around before you do, and I do not like it when other people get to take turns. Only I should be allowed to take turns. <sighs> Round train. Okay, which ones do we want to take out first? The balloons are... Yeah, the balloons have really bad status effects, which... They can probably hit us with here, because we can't heal in between- Oh, shit. Wait, that's not great. I don't like the defense minus two, but I like the idea of getting numbed even worse. Yes. Wait, that's fine. We can live with them. What do balloons think about dark? Nothing. They do not think about it. You? Nothing. Okay, you'd better one-shot this balloon. Exactly what I expected you to do, and I am still surprised. Uh, we want to water one of these, because that should one-shot. Yep. <clears throat> ha! Get dunked on, nerd. Who doesn't have balloon juice? Um, Marduk doesn't have balloon juice. Okay, round four. Wait, this music is really overdoing it, considering we're basically just fighting. These are immune to magic, aren't they? Okay, uh, we want to be using lightning against phages, and chrysophages are fake. And dark, we have dark. It does nothing. Uh, yeah, Amala's gonna be useless in this fight, so that's... That's fantastic, I'm really happy about it. Thank you, that's amazing, I'm really happy about that. Love you, babe. Love you. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that works too. Uh, wait, should be on target. Uh, yeah, the regular phage is, like, dark a lot less. I don't think we're gonna need barrier break for this. Let's save our MP. I forgot we had a light element sword on there, that. <laughs> I should not be allowed to play video games. Ah. Oh, nice, amazing. I'm very proud of you, Amala. You should not be allowed to play video games either. Actually, I think this might be bait. Yeah, these, they do Piss damage. 
These are not a threat, they're meant to waste our MP, I think. Yeah, like a 20 damage attack is not worth spending MP to avoid. How is Deogun meant to- uh, Deogun isn't meant to compete. Deogun is meant to be mediocre. Round 5. Ah, now we're getting into a bit of a problem because we got rid of all of our Oh, well, still, we want to get rid of the light, the pestilence, I think, because poison. And we don't want to waste a turn getting rid of that. Okay, but we do have light damage on this one. So who do we want to one-shot? Actually, it might have been a mistake because now we've... Oh, no, all of these are going to be immune to dark, I think. So, who's the most threatening? I think that John Corpse might have some status effects. Let's go for that. You have to use Disrupt Undead, or else you'll waste your turn. You know what? Let's learn our shield up. I want to get rid of that. Look at me. I'm preserving my mana with great skill. Do we even need to use a skill in here? Nah, just hit him with your stick. Oh, nice work, Emma. I'm really proud of you. Six. Okay, they definitely picked some really annoying ones for this one. How do Ooze and Bloodhawk feel about... Oh, they're, they're just 50% damage from everything except lightning. That's great. I'm very happy about that. Pop, 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 pop. Easy. Easy game, easy life. These guys are annoying. We don't want to waste time chasing this one's elemental weaknesses. This one has no weaknesses. This one is weak to air. This one is weak to water. Uh, let's go for air, because air is our main element right now. Nice, we got a stun off. Um, okay, so we want to target the Posh Goblin. Posh Goblin does not like light, so we want to use our light boy. Woohoo, that's pretty. I like it. How do you feel about dark? You don't like it. <clears throat> really glad I got that Eorax. Round 8. Okay. Okay, this seems like one of those things where you want to wipe out the entire enemy team in the first round. And it is not that hard. Chrysophages are going to buff up their the enemy team, so we want to take both of them out as priority targets. But magic cannot hurt either of them, so we need to target the phages instead. So, air? Yeah, definitely going to be using air, because we have the one that buffs air. We can target our teammates. Okay, that's cool. I wonder if an AoE would have killed... Uh, too late now. Yeah, you got a barrier break, unfortunately. Or do we want to waste MP this early? We only have eh, whatever. I don't think we're gonna run out. Let's go for a regular physical. Eh, that does not feel good. But that does. Easy clear, easy life. M damage is done. Okay, round 10. <gasps> it's the lady and the bandit. Uh, she has spirit. And everything else regular. Okay, makes sense. He has all the regular as defensive gear. Oh, and bandit leather. So he's probably going to have some evade. 
but his weakness is fire. So he has a weakness, which means he's going to take mad damage. So he is our focus target. Because we can like one round him, hopefully. Ow. How do you feel about lying? I mean, you're you're a bad guy, right? You don't like lies, haha. <laughs> Easy peasy. And now we have this lady who does not have any particular weaknesses, so we just uh, hit her until she dies. Does she like fire? No, she does not like fire. Okay, that's mini boss one beat, and the whole is really low on MP. I think we might want to start saving soon. Why do I not like these? Mm. Not no statuses. Okay, that should be easy. Can we? Uh, yeah, we can AOE all of them. Pop, pop, pop. Easy game, easy life. The question is, is poison even worth spending a turn to cure? I don't think so. Oh no, this is, yeah, this is okay, this is actually... This is actually kind of a tough one. Because I don't think that lightning insta-kill, yep, yeah, we do not insta-kill these. What are your weaknesses? I want to get you instantly down. You do not have any weakness we can exploit. <clears throat> oh, I don't like that. You're not numb. Well, at least they're focus firing. Scratch that, at least uh, only one person got numbed. I kinda want to use... No, we don't have any, uh, but we do have balloon juice. But then again, I don't want you to be the one using it. Emila does not do sufficient damage now. Ooh, that's nice. Emila does not do anywhere near enough damage for these things, and we now have her down to one balloon juice. That's great. Let's see what your power attack is like. It misses, that... That's nice. I'm glad. I'm glad we had this talk. Good work, David. Now. You're great. Ooh, MB plus 10 learned. That's good. Shalomites and fishies. Okay. Uh, Earth? Earth. We could skip their turns, but yeah, I think I'm gonna go for mana burying Emila. <laughs> That's right. Then we'll take out the coal sun. Eat a bubble. Water damage. It's fine. I know that I said it's not worth using, but I think that the gun might kind of need that energy. <sighs> All right, melees do regenerate your mana, so that's worth using. MP, I don't care what it's called. I am a god S gamer. Thank you. Round 14. Mm, same composition. Uh, nothing worth knowing. Uh, we want to kill that thing first. Uh, we might have to turn first. So let's deal with the ooze. Do you people like lightning? You don't care for lightning. We want to nail me. Yeah, let's say over here. Yeah, that was a waste of an AoE. Fancy. This is definitely a boss. Got a fire, got a magic shield. Uh, 
Oh, yeah, I want to use a potion. Better potion on. A regular potion would do the job for Emma, though, so yeah, regular potion on Emma. Okay, what are your weaknesses? You like dark, you dislike light. I'm glad that I got dark squirts for the whole team and removed their disrupt and their that I'm I'm really happy about that. Like he could break his shield and waste Deogon's damage turn, and I'm fine with that, honestly. Okay. Not terrible. We want to do an AoE heal now. Because we've got relatively low HP at the moment. I don't think you'll be able to cast. Yeah, you cannot cast. You do not have any liquid sound either. Okay, that's not the greatest. But I just hit the guy. If that hit, we'd be in trouble. Still liquid sound. Yeah, using that. Okay, great. And you disrupt undead one more time, and it did not finish him. Okay. Got a curse. Uh, we can cure that. That's fine. Uh, I don't actually know what curses do, but um, not having them is probably good. 94! Oh, that's pathetic. Oh, we don't get the loan. Wait, round 16. Ooh, monsters and abomination. That's very fun. Okay, we're only at a fire weakness and a nothing weakness. Let's target now. We don't want to waste MP. Yep, that's instant kill. Good. But, Deogun, fuck you. Such a. Fucking party member. Oh, round 17. Easy peasy. Oh. Okay, we're getting spooky, I see. Uh, let's see. Ethereal guy. They don't like lightning. They don't like fire. What do we have in plenty? Lightning. Let's use our lightning. Yep, it's an instant. Good. One dark claw goes out. What are your weaknesses? You don't like light? Do the phantoms? Phantoms also don't like light. I think they're immune to magic, though, so... Ooh, 666, nice. Or we could just use a better potion. Yeah, we're using a better potion. Oh! That's right. Yeah, you'll go down instantly. Easy peasy. Nice, nice. Ooh, you memorized M plus 10. I think it's more useful than poison. Ah, we're finding the zombie warrior. Yeah, this one is definitely the easiest boss. You can just DPS the guy before he gets to even attack. Before he gets to attack meaningfully, I should say. If you lend your damn reactions. Which I need to be skilled to do, and skill is something I have in very short supply. I think he's gonna waste his next turn just going berserk. Yeah, he's gone. Okay, so we win. Nice. Ooh, we get boss XP for that. That's pretty good. And we get to round 19. Okay, so this is just a prep round. We want to chug some mana berries, I think. These, yeah, they don't have any real meanness as to what Emla has. So, time to down some ethers. I don't think we're going to be fighting anything that's <clears throat> undead in the last round, because it's going to be that adventuring party again, I guess. So, let's have Emla down a mana berry. And the rest is just as it is. Gone and wreck stuff. Insta-kill... Oh. 
yeah, we can't actually unskill all of them in this room, so, uh... Eh, we'll do it. Anyway, uh, we're gonna want to replenish. Even if Vern isn't, we're gonna be wanting to spam Smite Evil with him, so yeah, let's keep him at high MP2. And let's fail all of our reactions, because that's just... It's, it improves the experience for everyone involved. The enemies get a chance to feel good about themselves, and who doesn't want that? Aha! I see that the final round is to be a mere breeze, for we are up against these puny little soldiers again, saviors. This battle shall be just as effortless as the last time we fought. We may as well give ourselves haircuts during battle. We will be putting so little effort into fighting you. Uh -huh. But didn't they kill us last time? Nine! That just must be some deranged fantasy dream thing in your dozy little head, my dear, where the laws of reality no longer make sense. For we are the world's saviors. It is not possible for us to lose. Give us the best that you have, puny soldiers. And it may just give us a bit of a warm-up as we pummel you to the ground as if you were a party of old women who had decided one day while knitting together to go adventuring. But it turned out that they weren't very good at it. Look, grannies are pretty fucking good at beating the shit out of people. I would not... I would not fuck with a party of grannies. Heh. <laughs> old woman. Bernard is definitely well written. We'll show you who's an old woman, and we'll also win. Nice. Ah, let's go. Yeah, let's definitely go with that. Alright, who's our main target? I think that taking out Ali Arley will make Bartolio salty. Also weak stuff. Okay, we do not want to go for Venny, but Venny has some very bad weaknesses, so maybe we do want to go for Venny. We can't instant kill anyone anyway, so yeah, that's where we're going to be putting our DPS right now. <sighs> Ooh, that isn't great. I think Deogun might go down. Actually, chug a better potion so you don't get into it. Hey, that's fine, that's fine. I will take that. How do you feel about light or dark? You do not care. So, regular attack for you. <sighs> Almost down. Is it worth wasting a heal? Yeah. Nice. Right, Minnie's down. Who's our next target? We want to get rid of Alnia. Alnia's going to make us have to spam barrier breaks, and I do not like using skills. Okay, wait, no, no. Next turn is barrier break, I think. Oh, well. Uh, good choice of skill. Using water against the water person. Great idea. I love it. Nice, perfect. Not great, but okay. Uh, who's last? Bernard. Bernard, Bernard, Bernard. Do we want to? No, we don't want to focus Bernard. Bernard is too high and annoying. Bartolio has a weakness to dark, so we want to be spamming that Bartolio. Let us do a mass heal. Everyone's a bit low. Oh, great. We went into the boss fight and we didn't even use our shields. I am very happy with how that turned out. Bartolio has resistances and no weaknesses, so Lightning Bolt it is. Hey, that's pretty good. That's pretty annoying. Please skip that Nerd's turn. Uh, barrier Break is our best invention. Do we want to use? Actually, let us waste our turn hitting... Oh, you're not immune to Dark. I did not realize that. Well, that makes this easier. Uh, in that case, let's just hit you with a smite evil to get you out of the way right now. Wait. And, uh, GG. No re. Easy p- uh. As I was saying, GG. No re. Easy peasy. Get dunked on, kid. 
nerd, weakling, weeaboo, L, plus, uh, you fell off. <clears throat> Damn you, puny soldiers. This must have been one of the few unwinnable plot battles. Annoying. But that means that the next time we fight, we will have to win. Rule of three. Congratulations, fighter! You have won the tournament, apparently! Here, have a prize. Also, get out of here. Bye. Still, we get... The sword? It's... The sword? Oh. Wow, well, we are really all in entry space. Okay, we need to get rid of some of this. Uh, you go there. Properties. Well... A finely crafted sword awarded to the champion of the arena. It serves as a decorative weapon and as a powerful weapon with a high crit hit chance. Now we could give this to Mardik. Because, you know, we're very dumb. We don't know how to utilize our abilities. Or we could give it to Vern, who insta-kills goddamn everything. Fuck. Vern does not have... How do you use this? This is gonna give us a good amount of damage, but I we cannot combo Smite and Pori and Dead with anything except damage plus ten, which is really, really disappointing. Although at 32. Yeah, that is better than Oh wow. Yeah, it's better than the Silver Sword. Hmm, not bad. I am a Chulmite Guard. We are guarding this door for some reason? The tournament's over now. There was only one, so you can't compete anymore. Go away. How oh, nice. So, I think that we might want to call it there. Yeah, it's not quite an hour, but hey, we beat the Trollmite Arena. Next episode, we're gonna finish the game. So, thank you all for tuning in. I will see you next time.